Chapter 1, Defining Marketing for the New Realities in the Course, ASC1. The learning objectives are, identify the core concepts that shape marketing strategies, identify the marketplace orientation, identify the elements of the marketing mix, identify the set of activities that must happen to facilitate an exchange, identify the functions of each element of the marketing mix, match the four CS from the perspective of customers with the four pounds in the seller's perspective. What is marketing? The American Marketing Association offers the following formal definition. Marketing is the activity, set of institutions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value for customers, clients, partners, and society at large. Some of the core marketing concepts that shape marketing strategies are needs, wants, and demands, target markets, positioning, and segmentation, offerings and brands, marketing channels, paid, owned, and earned media, impressions, and engagement, value and satisfaction, supply chain, competition, and marketing environment. We need to understand company orientations or market orientations that companies have towards the market. This is a business philosophy, and there are four kinds of company orientations. The first one is production orientation. The production concept is one of the oldest concepts in business. It holds that consumers prefer products that are widely available and inexpensive. Managers of production-oriented businesses concentrate on achieving high production efficiency, low costs, and mass distribution. This orientation has made sense in developing countries such as China, where the largest PC manufacturer, Lenovo Group, and domestic appliances giant here have taken advantage of the country's huge and inexpensively been able to dominate the market. The product concept proposes that consumers buy more product offering the most quality, performance, or innovative features. One of the key things to understand in product concept is that companies that have a product concept business philosophy could also manufacture products just like the production concept companies. But the difference is that product concept companies are usually making innovative and good products, but also realizing that without having a good marketing mix and target market strategies, those new innovative products will not be successful. The selling concept holds that consumers and businesses, if left alone, won't buy enough of the organization's products. It is practiced most aggressively with unsought goods. Goods buyers don't normally think of buying, such as insurance and products such as these. When forms with overcapacity into sale of what they make rather than make what the market wants, marketing really becomes more hot selling. The marketing concept emerged in the mid-1950s as a customer-centered sense and respond philosophy. The job is to find not the right customers for your products, but the right products for your customers. Marketing concept is more customer-centric. The idea of marketing concept companies is that companies should understand the needs of the consumer and then make the product. Now, there are four important conditions for exchange. Number one, there always must be two parties. Each party has something of value to offer. Number three, each party can reject or accept the offer. Finally, each party can communicate with each other. Now, there are different elements of marketing mix and they're famously called the four pounds in marketing. That's product, price, place, and promotion strategies. We want to understand what are the specific variables under each of the marketing mix elements. Product strategy is identified with product variety, quality, design, features, brand name, packaging, services, warranties, and returns. Price is associated with list prices, discounts, allowances, payment period, credit terms. Promotion is associated with sales promotion, advertising, sales force. Place is channel, coverage, assortments, locations, inventory, and transport. The product, price, place, promotion, famously called the marketing mix, are really associated with the company's point of view. We need to understand how do customers view the four pounds. The product is associated with customer solution. The price is associated with cost to the customer. Promotion is associated with communication and place is associated with convenience to the customer. In summary, marketing is an organizational function and a set of processes for creating, communicating, and delivering value to customers and for managing customer relationships in ways that benefit the organization and its stakeholders. Marketing management is the art and science of choosing target markets and getting, keeping, and growing customers through creating, delivering, and communicating superior customer value. Marketers are skilled at managing demand. They seek to influence its level.
timing, and composition for goods, services, events, experiences, persons, places, properties, organizations, information, and ideas. They also operate in four different marketplaces, consumer, business, global, and nonprofit. Marketing is not done only by the marketing department. It needs to affect every aspect of the customer experience. To create a strong marketing organization, marketers must think like executives in other departments, and executives in other departments must think more like marketers. Today's marketplace is fundamentally different as a result of major societal forces that have resulted in many new consumer and company capabilities. In particular, technology, globalization, and social responsibility have created new opportunities and challenges and significantly changed marketing management. Companies seek the right balance of tried and true methods with breakthrough new approaches to achieve marketing excellence. There are five competing concepts under which organizations can choose to conduct their business. The production concept, the product concept, the selling concept, the marketing concept, and the holistic marketing concept. The first three are of limited use today. The holistic marketing concept is based on the development, design, and implementation of marketing programs, processes, and activities that recognize their breadth and interdependencies. Holistic marketing recognizes that everything matters in marketing and that a broad, integrated perspective is often necessary. Four components of holistic marketing are relationship marketing, integrated marketing, internal marketing, and performance marketing. The set of tasks necessary for successful marketing management includes developing marketing strategies and plans, capturing marketing insights, connecting with customers, building strong brands, creating, delivering, and communicating value, and creating long-term growth.